Now you're going to learn about the software side of this robot, which is pretty, um, okay, I'll say it, complicated. But once you get through it, uh, you will learn a lot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a terminal and we're going to download the SunFounder code for the Raspberry Pi uh, to the Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> the code is stored in a repo, or which is short for a repository, called GitHub. And GitHub uh, is a nice place for people to store open source stuff that they want to share with everyone. So the instructions say cd tilde, so you can see that basically didn't do anything except that it verified that we are at the top of our directory structure. <clears throat> and so now we are going to do git clone, which is, let's go to github and clone the code that's there. And so now we give it the path. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to do git clone https slash slash github.com sunfounder slash sunfounder smart video car kit for raspberry pi dot git. Um, so git is a command that the raspberry pi raspbian operating system already knows about. It's going to go to that URL and it's going to clone the software that's there onto our Raspberry Pi at the top level home directory cd tilde. <clears throat> so you can see it's downloading the software and it's done. Now in the instruction manual for after this part, there is a step to because says download the source code directly from GitHub to your Linux. There's a method one, there's a method two. Um, that is assuming that you have a computer that is running Linux. So there are two parts to this, and there's a really good explanation about how this works in the SunFounder manual. Um, but there are two parts to this. Your car is a server. So the Raspberry Pi, the brains of your car, is going to be a server. So this is a server client, client server network controller for your car. So your car is going to sit there with that server running, waiting for commands. And your client on your laptop or your Linux computer or wherever your client may reside, which needs to be in Python, uh, is going to be the control point for your car. So in this client server architecture uh, we just downloaded the server to your Raspberry Pi. We're not going to start it yet because now we need to go to your laptop and install the client. Uh, <laughs> in my case my laptop is a Windows uh, machine. I've already installed Python uh, on the Windows machine. So if you have a Windows machine you'll have to do that. If you have a Linux machine 
uh, should already have Python installed and uh, then you can use git to download the what they're calling the master <clears throat> yeah so what they're calling is <clears throat> Sun Founder Smart Video Car Kit for Raspberry Pi Dash Master and uh, that's what they want you to put on your Linux machine but I have a PC running Windows and it has Python installed so we're gonna go with that for this video <clears throat> 